been getting quite a lot of emails people asking for a quick guided tour of the van so I thought why not so here we go she's six meters long ex-military NATO ambulance Mercedes 508D low mileage when we got her still low mileage you only got about 60,000 miles on the engine it's hot 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 so we'll keep the silver screens up to try and keep the sun out in the day while we're not here so I'll show you around the outside first sliding door you can get in and out some gear that we've got outside not that we're here much she's got nice big fat wheels on her and good nick water access point got 100 litre storage keep the doors open at the back in the day because it's so hot Up on the top, we have a rooftop tent that folds out for the boys when it's hot. They sleep up there, it's like a king size bed up there, it's huge. Ladder extends, we get up into it there. It's got 12 volts up there for lighting and charging your phones and whatnot. Nets on the back of the doors for storage and keeping stuff. Same on that one. I think in there at the minute, it's outside. And then at the back, under the bed up here, we've got storage. So the chairs and stuff go in there. 12 volt and 240 volt sockets there if I need to do any work outside at the back. More nets. We've got six of these boxes. Very handy. We have three, they fit perfectly into each one. There's a few more of them there. Front runner boxes. Durable, very lightweight. Just all kinds of crap there. 240 volt for when we're hooked up. Solar panel, got a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. With two leisure batteries, 300 amp hours. Then you've got your solar panel gauge giving you all indications of how it's charging. That's the back. I love it, we sit up on the back of this bed and we put up nice little places and just look out. 12 volt fan up there when it gets a bit hot. Uh, what else we got around this side? 240 volt hook up. Then we've got Everyone loves seeing these. Got the climbing holds so that you can get up onto the roof. Better than having a ladder any day, I reckon. It's not as noticeable and it's still easy to get up there. All the countries we've been, blimey, there's a few. All South American countries, European countries. Recovery ramps. This ain't a 4x4 vehicle, but I tell you what, some of the roads we've been on, they have got me out of trouble plenty of times. Then we've got four Fuley roof racks, I don't know if you can see them with the sun. Surfboard that side, it can also take a kayak that side and around the other side the same. You can store two kayaks up there. And like I say, there's a solar panel up there. 200 watt that's the back awning seen better days I'm going to get a new one soon that one's from when we was in South America it's not really big enough probably going to get a new one for next summer to be honest I don't like that one let's go inside nothing's been tidied up in here so apologies for the mess table 
We've got here with bits and bobs. The bin clips on into there, and underneath you can get access to the gas bottle if you want to cook outside. Uh, right, this table slots down, comes apart, sits in there. That's a single bed. The mat, the cushions all go in together, and then that's a single bed where Noah sleeps if the tent's not up on the roof. And at the front. Lovely old girl, this van, so reliable, never misses a beat. More nets for storage, first aid stuff, first aid stuff, more nets, more storage, more nets. Can't have enough nets, more nets, more nets, for storing gear, fire stuff down there, if it was ever needed. Thank God it hasn't been so far. And as we come back, more nets for storage there. Here I keep the fishing rod up there. Jesse's vegan chart. So that we keep our diet nice and healthy. Uh, then this here. This is amazing. Jess made this. It's got two aluminium poles in there. Nice chunky ones. It rolls out. This is military grade material. It rolls out and basically clips right across the front here and it's like a big stretcher bed where Ethan sleeps really comfy got a nice diesel heater up there so if it's cold when we're plotted up in the winter I turn that diesel heater on blasts out nice hot air from there and then also if I come back there's a vent down there that you can't really see and it blasts out heat at the back as well well Andy Got more gear stored up under there, some tools, recovery stuff. Keep a foodie bag there for some toiletries. What else we got? There's lights underneath all these cupboards. Same there and there. I think there's about, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lights. So it's pretty, you know, it's nice and light and lit up in there at night. Not that we sit in here very often, especially when it's hot. So you've got all that cupboard space, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cupboards. With lots of storage. Also underneath each of these seats they lift up and there's also storage under there. More nets. Nets. More nets. More nets. Keep all the stuff in there for the boys and games and stuff like that. Uh, this side. So work unit. These these tiles here, me and my brother put them on before we went to South America, and everyone said they won't last five minutes. No chance all those roads you'll crack and you know they'll fall off. Well, let me tell you, they've been up volcanoes, they've been up to nearly five thousand meters altitude and the most hellish roads you could imagine this van's been on. And they're still solid. There you go. Pictures. Like those. Basic stuff, kitchen roll. 12 volt sockets, we've got them all over the van. So she's hooked up at the minute. She's getting fully charged. More nets. Another net. More nets there. I don't know if you can really see them at the back. And your mirror. You've got access there, you open them up to get air in, there's one there. And then there's another one at the front under there. Just to keep it nice and cool. I've got loads of 12 volt fans as well if it gets too hot. Then here, cooker. Well, cooker, it's not a cooker. Gas hobs, I should say. Sink. A 100 litre water tank back there for fresh water. Cupboard space. I don't know if you can see this very well now. Cupboard space, cupboard space, drawers. We've got a safe here stashed away, secretly bolted to the floor. Really nice 12 volt fridge. It's quite a big unit that one. Let's see if I can open it. Keep all our stuff in there. And it's got a freezer at the top. So our food always stays fresh. More cupboard space. 
more cupboard space under the bed here. That is a massive space. You just store loads of stuff. It's all tied down with bungees when we're traveling. More cupboard space there with shelving inside where we keep more stuff. That's just like a work unit. Under there is a toilet, a for toilet that can be pulled out. And the curtain goes round when you're using it, but to be honest, we don't use it very often. And then at the back, 240 volt, and then we've got some 12 volt sockets that side. And then the bed, it don't look much there, it's a single bed, I know, but it's a secret. This comes out, I can pull it out, that pulls out to there, like so. And then that mattress.